This is going to be a changing day in your life. I'm taking people with real problems and moving them in to the Dr. Phil house. I'm going to put you under a microscope. Need a camera here, need one here. I'm putting cameras everywhere to see what really happens behind closed doors. I am moving in with you. talking to a young man whose family seems to have a lot of issues. His father's dead and his mother married his uncle. Now, he claims that he has something he wants to tell his family and all the viewers. So please welcome Prince Hamlet. Welcome Prince Hamlet. Yo, to be or not to be. <laughs> Just sit down, kid. I am. So how did that all start, son? Well, my dad mysteriously died a few months ago. They say it was a heart attack, but that's bull. Um, the, the my sponge of an uncle became king of Denmark in my father's place. And to top it all off, my mother married my uncle. Almost pernicious woman. Calm down. So, I hear you have something you want to share with your family? Yeah, dog. Well, we'll bring out Gertrude, his mother, oh. and Claudius, his uncle, after these messages. Please stay tuned. Yo, 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 all you peasants on my land want to join the band. All my borders on my hills, so I can't touch 40B. I'm a captain, but Prince is inferred. But forget what you heard, I'm like Fort Embrass the Third. Just shake and not stir to 40B. The F is silent when you walk through the castle doors and find everybody lying on the ballroom floors. I'm not like Hanny, because you'll know it was me. Uh, because the next time you're in war, I'll be like, oh, 40B! Come and list with me! Word out. Welcome back. We just talked to Hamlet, and now we're going to welcome his mother Gertrude and his uncle Claudius. Welcome, you two. <laughs> Thou incestuous, adulterous beast! I'm oh. impious, feminist, tis a manly grief. What are you saying? Yeah. Beep! Shut up! Beep! Oh. Now, now, Hamlet, settle down. Cast thy knighted color off. Never. My dad was like George Clooney. Your new beep is like Homer Simpson. <sighs> Hamlet, thou cast my eyes into my very soul. Thou goblin, damn. <gasps> Alas, he's mad! You little beep. Show your new father some respect. Settle down, y'all. Now, Gertrude, why did you marry Claudius in the first place? Because I'm in love with him. <laughs> don't you think it's a little too soon? No, not really. Okay, now Claudius, what do you think of all this? I want to hear your side of the story. Well, I've always had a thing for Gertrude, and after the passing of my dear brother, we, we were there for each other in the hard times and bonded together over the death, mm -hmm. and, well, we fell in love. <laughs> well, um, I think how Hamlet feels about this is that it was all a bit too soon. His ma father just got buried, and you two are already married? It's a bit early. Yeah, and he doesn't deserve to be king. Your father was weak and died of a heart attack. Ever since I went king, everybody's been happy. You're a king of shreds and patches. Now, Claudius, that was a bit out of line. No, yeah, place, woman, this is men's talk. That rules you out. <gasps> now, I think I know what's going on here. There's a bit of a struggle for Gertrude's affections, and right now, Claudius is winning. Now, Hamlet, I think you love your ver mother very much, but think that she's just married another man too soon. Now, I think there's a bit of an Oedipus complex going on here, because you love your mother way too much. What are you talking about? Why not? Anyways, I think what you guys need to do is spend some quality time together as a family. Go for dinner or something, and do something together to see eye to eye. That's a great idea! Why don't we all go to Polonius's after the show for dinner? Yes, that's a lovely idea. Let's make amends, Hamlet. Make amends? I don't think you're going to be so quick to make amends after the startling announcement I need to make. What about Hamlet? It's concerning Claudius and my father. Ha <laughs> ha we can't talk about this later, Hamlet. Or we could talk about this now. Hamlet, what were you trying to say? So the other day, I had an apparition come to me, and it was my true father. He gave me a shocking revelation, a revelation so shocking everyone will be appalled to hear. Except for the vicious mole of nature sitting right across from me. What are you talking about, Hamlet? My father spoke to me, and what he said shocked me to the very core. His death was not of natural causes. 
just like the reign of this incestuous beast. What is this rubbish? He told me that he was in fact murdered. <gasps> How could this be? We'll be back right after these messages. It means no worries. <laughs> it's the sun. <laughs> Slimy yet satisfying. Ew. It is time. that very fishmonger that you lie with in the rank sweat of that insane bed. What are you talking about, Hamlet? Please tell me this is a joke. A sick one at that. Hamlet, is this true? The hell it is. It's true! Why would I lie about such a matter? Where is your proof? Huh? Your stepfather's kind of right, Hamlet. To make such a bold statement, you need a bit of proof. How dare you even utter that word father while speaking of that damn villain, Claudius. I don't need this. Beep! Well, maybe you should have thought of that before starting this all by killing my father. No, please, get please, it. stop! Get it, man! Stop! 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 Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now my whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Started from the bottom, now the whole team here. Started from the bottom, now we're here. 